There are, of course, many ways to write an introduction. We will explain a basic structure. In this example, our paper is on a direct relationship between one independent variable and one dependent variable. In our example, these are workload and job satisfaction. What do you need before you start writing? First, you need to have an independent and a dependent variable. Second, you need one or two scientific articles that talk about your dependent variable and the importance of it. Third, you need a theory that explains the relationship between your two variables, so in our case, a theory that explains the relationship between workload and job satisfaction. Fourth, you need three empirical articles that found a relationship between the two variables. The introduction has a basic structure of four blocks. In our example, each block is a paragraph. Let's have a closer look at each block. In the first block, you explain what your paper is about and why it is important to study this topic. The introduction has the shape of a funnel. The funnel starts at the top, broad, with a very general introduction of the theme of your paper. If your paper is, for example, on a healthy work environment, you can cite a paper or report on this in a first sentence, stressing the relevance of this topic. From this point, the story of your paper unfolds. There are many ways to do so. An easy way is to start with your dependent variable. In our example, you would now introduce job satisfaction as the main focus of your paper and you elaborate on why job satisfaction is important in organisations. Do not forget to underpin what you write about with relevant sources. Now let's move on to the second block. In this paragraph, you can introduce your independent variable as an important influencer of your dependent variable. You can do this by directly addressing the relationship between the two variables. For example, by writing, a main influencer of job satisfaction is workload. You can also do this in a more elaborated way, by writing, job satisfaction can be affected by variety in your work, relationship with colleagues, career options and salary. However, this paper will focus on the relationship between workload and job satisfaction. Again, do not forget to support whatever you write with credible sources. The next thing you have to do is underpin why you think there is a relationship between your variables. You do so by referring to a theory and to empirical studies. A detailed explanation of the theory and the empirical articles comes in the theoretical framework, so keep it short at this stage. In our case, we could say, the relationship between workload and job satisfaction can be explained by equity theory. Next, you present empirical support for the relationship between your variables as well as the gap in research you want to address. A gap can be anything, but for the current paper we recommend you focus on a specific country, sector or target group. For example, you may refer to empirical papers that found a relationship between workload and job satisfaction in the USA, Canada and Mexico and consequently argue that this relationship has not been studied in the Netherlands. So, this is your gap and is therefore your contribution to the scholarly literature. Now we move to block 3. In this block, you start with the aim of your study. In this case, you want to study the direct relationship between your two variables, so no moderators or mediators. Next, you present the theoretical and practical contribution of your study. For the theoretical contribution, you can refer to your gap. By filling in this gap, you extend the research on the relationship between the two variables. For the practical contribution, think of what companies or society can do better if they know the answer to your research question. For example, maybe they can better prevent issues in organisations. In our example, prevent employees leaving the organisation because they are dissatisfied with their job. In block 4, you wrap up everything and present your research question in a short paragraph. There are many ways to formulate a research question. In our case, the research question is To what extent do people with higher workload differ from people with lower workload regarding their job satisfaction? Now you have finished the introduction of your paper.